Pilgrims and Pilgrims, welcome to the show. Who and who? I don't know what that means. I just I just thought of it off the top of my head. Nice. <laughs> welcome to the show, everybody. Same cast, different day podcast. I'm Martha Rowland. We got Tina Marie over there with Tori and Badass. So what, welcome Hi. to the show, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, buddy. You you helping host the show tonight? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> uh oh, y'all almost lost my camera. So, on today's show, uh, we have we got a few. Oh my god, Theater, you better not have any no earbuds because this do not work for earbuds. Hey, 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 hey! You lucky he don't know what that finger, those fingers mean. <laughs> One, two. <three>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, those <laughs> Who invited the old man with that old ass bed in the background? Mind your business. He's on vacation. Mind your business. So, I want to be on vacation. Of course you do. Anywho, I don't know why I don't say our names. It's supposed to say our names for you guys, but oh, there we go. Um, so, if, if for those of you who don't know, uh, Anita, Anita Baker is heading out on tour for the first time in 30 years. Um, from right. personal experiences, where I've seen the performances in the past year or so, it's not good. Hey, 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 you, you leave her alone. Why is she touring? She got a new song out or something? No. Then what are we doing? She like love should have brought you home last night. It brought your ass home last night. Oh. So I don't know why she's going out to oh, her. Okay. Okay. I Look, mean, my maybe bad. it's the I same reason why bad. maybe it's the same reason why the Isley brothers was on tour. I don't know if they had anything new, but they was on tour recently. So they they've been on and off tour for quite a few years. Like they have been, well, at least coming to our city True. for a while. So, but what has Anita been doing? She did. She had a Vegas residency. Okay. Well, maybe she's just trying to. Pick I mean, her background. That. Her background singers do most of her high notes for her, but. I I mean, okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I and mean, the yeah. Things it's change. Yep, yeah, you get older, you know, things change or whatever. I mean, you expect for her to use at least, at least playback or something, but she don't even use that. Uh, no, because you y'all would be mad about that too. Actually, if it's the older singer, I wouldn't be mad because okay. I already know they're the age where hey, the voice is that they're no more like it was 20, 30 years ago. We get it, so you, they get a pass. It's the younger singers who voice who can still sing and. Just choose to use that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Theater, I, I don't understand. Why do you look like that in that damn bed? You you look like somebody's broke down daddy. What what is going I, on? I am minding his business. I am somebody's broke down freaking daddy. Yeah, that's so. all. Oh, um, oh, the kids still there. Oh, what? <laughs> what is going on right now? I was just trying to change up the language in case Tina say, "Wait a minute, he's lucky he he's right here." So I, was I, just, to, I was just I was just talking shit. I, mm, no, I mm, just had mm. I had to change up and use that Chinese language. You know what I mean? <laughs> so in Spring Valley, Wisconsin, a nurse. Oh, I got my been, watch too. Oh, you finally got something. God bless you, so. Useless piece of <laughs> a nurse. A nurse has been charged in a case in Spring Valley, Wisconsin. Uh, she was charged for amputating a man's foot. What? Okay. Uh, Wait. Was she five foot three? Two hundred. Oh, never mind. That probably wasn't that bad. <laughs> Wait, because it was like Tina has questions. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hold it in, but I couldn't get past. First of all, where the hell is Spring Valley, Wisconsin? I have Over no idea. Over there by Sun Valley, Dunn Valley, and Sun Valley. 
<laughs> Second of all, I need to know how she amputated a limb. They didn't describe how she did it, and according to the news report, she didn't even have the doctor's or a doctor's order to amputate the foot. Uh, we don't this, amputate feet. We don't do what. I, that I do know. I do know that nurses do not do because I'm like because when I read the story, I'm like, did she do this like in the patient room? Because like this, I thought like when you amputate a, like a body part, that requires like a surgical room. So, and this happened in a nursing facility, a nursing home. On top of that, had that to be an accident. accident. Had to be. Oh accident. no! So the man was so he had a he had to suffer from frostbite, and he didn't. The woman did not have permission from nor the man or the doctor to amputate his foot. Uh, the woman was thirty eight years old, and on top of that, this man was a hospice patient. So. This happened May 27th. Within a week, the man was dead. I mean, she hated him. She hated him. He must have to her. Okay. So, like, what, what's going on here? Like, did she, like, run into it and it just broke off, or? No, I think she just actually what? went. I think she took what, it upon herself to while... just go find something and just cut it. What was she doing Ooh. while she was sawing off his foot? What was he doing? <sighs> Well, uh, like I said, he was in hospice, so he was probably already doped up on a lot of drugs. So she probably gave him even more drugs. So, well, maybe she thought that his foot was the other leg. Ooh, oh, I'm done. <laughs> you know what? I'm I know. Done. I'm trying to. I'm trying to piece it together myself of how this I'm all. Just, I'm just saying. I mean, they may grab something else. Be like, ooh, I got you. And oh, never mind. But you still gonna cut it off though. Yes. But the thing is, you didn't have no permission to cut it off. And then yes. you did it probably did it in an unsterilized environment. You probably gave that man more. You killed that man faster, faster. than whatever he was dying for. Dying uh, from. You know what? Like you're you're not trained to surgically remove a foot. That and on top of that, I'm like <laughs> What a way to suffer! Like, what if she didn't give him proper pain meds or something like that? And that man suffered the last few days of his life from agonizing pain from you cutting off his foot. Where the hell is she at now? In jail. Oh, but who would you say he didn't suffer like and, that? And, he and she just got her. Head. She just got her license in 2020. Oh, that bitch is crazy. She was a chucky. <sighs> so yeah, she. Look. She only been certified. She only been certified to practice nursing in Wisconsin since 2020. I'm finna. What's her name? Uh, Mary K. Brown, age 38 years old. Mary K. Brown. Uh, Torian, what is you got going on over there, buddy? Yeah, it was so much stuff. Hey, do y'all know if gas stations uh sell gift cards? No. Huh? No. I got a scratch off my scratch off though from Boomland. If I, I win, if I win, Anthony, you ain't getting shit, Tina. We going on the boat cruise. Oh, okay, where we going? Where, wherever, I need... wherever my money take us, if I win. Whatever. <laughs> that means I gotta, go, I gotta go find a, a quick gift card. I also forgot to get Chris gift card. <laughs> you don't forget. You just slow. No, I forgot. Wait a minute. It gets even weirder. She then told colleagues she wanted to preserve and display the foot at her family's taxidermy shop in Pierce County. I did say that that boop was crazy, right? I just said that, but y'all kept on talking. So apparently Spring Valley is located near the Minnesota border. It's a village of 1,400 people. And it's probably village And people. she is not a hospice nurse. So how does she even... See? Uh, see? It's some crazies up in here. It's some crazies up in here. It's some crazies up in here. It's some crazies out there in this world, y'all. They crazy as hell. Oh, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna finish this first. What you got to tell me? I'm just trying to figure out uh, 
I'm I'm with Tina. Like, how did she cut this man's foot off? I'm reading. I'm reading. Okay, <clears throat> the victim had the victim had been admitted to Spring Valley facility in March after falling in his home. The complaint does not indicate how long it was before the man was found, but the heat in his home was not turned on, causing the tissue in his feet to become necrotic and die from frostbite. One tendon, which connects muscle to bone, and and roughly two inches of skin were keeping the foot attached to his leg. A nurse who had changed his foot bandages, not saying her, the morning of May 27th said the victim was able to wiggle his toes. Brown told, Brown is the nurse that cut it off, told two other nurses at a shift change that day that she was going to cut off the victim's foot for comfort. And they just didn't report that. The other two nurses told her not to and to leave the foot attached. Shortly after the conversation, Brown and two certified nurses assistants went into the victim's room to change the bandages on his feet. Rather than change the bandages, Brown cut the victim's tendon, which amputated his right foot completely. One of the nurses assistants in the room told an investigator the foot was then placed in a red biohazard bag and placed in a freezer. One of the nurses assistants said Brown was pushing her to retrieve the foot. So Brown could take it home and preserve it. According to the complaint, the nursing assistant told the investigator Brown said her family had a taxidermy shop and she was going to preserve the foot and put it on display with a sign that says, wear your boots, kids. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, they did not tell anybody until two days later when a nursing assistant who was distraught about the incident called the DON, which is the director of nursing, um, and told her that the victim did not appear to be in pain when his foot was amputated. That conflicts with the testimony of another nurse who told the investigator she asked the victim two days after his foot was amputated what happened, and the victim told the nurse he felt everything and it hurt very bad. Mm, mm, mm. That's us. He spent his last few days in agonizing pain, probably. Mm -mm -mm. I figure like this is the only way that they're gonna have to take my foot to keep it out your boop, 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 boop. Wow. wow. Jesus, this gave me the strength to deal with him. So apparently there were a lot of missing entries in regards to the victim's chart, including the foot amputation. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. People, if you feel like something is going on with a, a professional, make sure y'all report them. I don't know what the number is or the people that you're supposed to call to report them people, but y'all call and report them people. Uh, uh, Tina will eventually get y'all the way to report them people because I don't know how to report them. So make sure y'all go and report these people when y'all see file stuff going on. Hell, well, you, you're supposed to go to the facility, whoever whoever is running the facility. It's usually um, an ADON, which is an assistant director of nursing, or the DON, or the nurse manager, one of those people. And if you feel like nothing's being done here in Wisconsin, it's DSPS department. <laughs> so DSPS runs here in Wisconsin everybody that had, holds a license under any type of... Um, under anything. So you could be an licensed electrician, you could be a carpenter, you could be a nurse, you could be a doctor. Everybody that holds a license in the state of Wisconsin is under DSPS. Even if the person's an asshole? Even if the person's an asshole, then I'm uh, you still on, have I'm speaking on you. to report those. I'm speaking on you. You know what, Theater? I just hope you fall out of a damn tree sometimes. I really do. I don't. I jump up in trees. But anyway, hmm. I was just asking Tina. I just want to know because she got all this knowledge. Did she freeze? I mean, she she okay. is a nursing per a nurse, so she is she is the post. She knows about this kind of stuff. So that's she why. Po -po. So, um, she in Chicago address, so I can check on her car. Oh Lord. I forgot, I forgot about that. Sorry. All right, all right. In Chicago, Obama Presidential Center in Chicago has been <clears throat> the construction has been put on hold due to somebody leaving a noose at the construction site. Why are we still doing this in 2022? 
Who? A noose. At the uh, Obama Presidential Center in Chicago, they're building some type of something for Obama there. And somebody left a noose uh, at the construction site, and they're now shutting down per, uh, construction while they do an investigation into who left this noose. You know what? I ain't going to comment on that because they might take all my cash, my cars, and everything else because I'll be sounding kind of fucked up. Or so. so I'm not going to even get in that conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd be like, yay, what's up? You know. What? I mean, I can't say that I'm surprised. I mean, you right. I mean, I, I, I you one hundred percent right. We shouldn't be surprised in this day and age at the the stupidness that goes on in this. I'm not surprised in this country, and it, it's embarrassing when other countries. I don't know how they get our news here. Probably, I don't know if they use the internet or they somehow can get a hold of our TV channels. However, how it works, it is, I bet it is embarrassing as hell when they turn on the TV and they see the shit that goes on here. I wonder how is racism. We need to get somebody from the other countries, like somebody living in England and like London and in uh, Italy and all these places. Like, how is racism there? Like, is it racism towards black people there or is it racism towards Jews? Like, I mean, like, you know, was like, is instead of it being black people, do they hate Jews more than black people over there? Like, I want to know what the racism is like over there, or does it do it exist over there still? Is like, you know what I mean? We we need to find somebody from Liverpool, England. That's what we need. Somebody from who? From what? Liverpool, Why England. Liverpool? What? And that seemed like that's where the racist people will live at, as far as England. What? <laughs> If you don't start making these stereotypical statements, <laughs> it just seemed like Liverpool is like seemed like like the countryside of England. So that's like, maybe I don't know because it, it seemed like racism is only bad. Is I should say only bad. Like it is distant within a city or major cities, but I don't feel like it's, it, racism is as bad in its cities as it is. In like rural areas. Why you say that? It's bad. Period. Just I know it's bad. Period. But I feel like you are subjected to experiencing more being out in a rural area. So say like you in a one of those little rinky dink towns in the middle of that's like six seven hours away from a major city. I, I feel like you are ten times more likely to experience racism there. I feel like that's because they probably haven't met people of other races actually in person. They just see them on TV. True. That could be that theory, too. Because when I used to drive buses, when I was driving um, in a different county here in our state, um, it was a lot of younger um, kids that would stare at me and tell me that I'd never seen a black person in person before. Woo! Only on TV. Mm-hmm. But my so they would come up to me and ask me, "Are you black?" My whole thing about that is they racist as fuck, but they love the sisters. Not that I give a shit, but they love the sisters. We said we were just talking about that, wasn't we? <laughs> you know um, yeah. um, how, like in slave slavery times. Racist uh, as hell, but that's that's all they. Well, I'm not gonna say all of them, but that's most of them fantasy. They get their neck snap. I mean, Gina was right because she was talking about how women, black women, are respected more than black men are, and treated better in some situations than black men are. Yeah. When it comes to people who are considered racist, mm-hmm. like theater people, because you're out there in the middle of nowhere. I, I'm not, uh, my people are not racist. They just hate assholes, and that comes in all forms. <laughs> Black, white, yellow, purple, green. They, it doesn't matter. Assholes. <laughs> you're an asshole, but I still tolerate it. I am not, I'm only an asshole. So when it's needed for me to told. Okay. You know, sometimes I just try to avoid conflict sometimes, you know? And then it just gets to a certain point where the asshole me has to come out and prove my point. 
You need to stop fucking lying. You don't try to avoid shit. You dive into oh, shit, you, you jump straight into it. Huh? I avoid many conflicts. Yeah, okay. Name one conflict you avoided today. Thank you, King. There was Can a crappy old woman r- walking through the house slamming doors. Instead of me re- uh, uh, reacting to it, I just ignored it. Who, your mom? Mm-hmm. You you tell to stop talking about my sister like that. I fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even when it comes to family, I just I I do my best to uh. Ain't nobody lying. See, when I'm at work, when y'all see me at work. It's it's totally different outside of work. I don't be having time to deal with people and their shenanigans or whatever situation it may be like so like some of these folks they might see somebody out on the street fighting i'm gonna be like oh they fighting i'm afraid to walk this damn way because i know it's gonna be some backlash behind that it's gonna be some bullets flying something so let me go the other way because i ain't got time for that mess mm-hmm. i'm just saying mm-hmm. i do i ain't got to, i'm not afraid to stand there watching nobody fight i ain't gonna watch nobody argue hell i don't even raise my voice in even when me and old yellow, he be calling himself arguing with me. I don't never raise my voice. Uh, I will talk to you as normal as com as normal normally as possible. Or yeah, you and know that was a damn lie. I, I do, but anyway, that was a damn lie. That's why you had to stumble on it. I don't. I don't raise my voice. You can ask him. I don't raise my voice. And he get mad because he wants to argue with me. And then I'll say what I need to say in a normal voice. And then I just stop talking. And he get mad because he wants to keep arguing back and forth. Like he wants a response out of me. You're just not going to do it. I'm not going to get do it. You just need to reach out and slap the sh- I don't start no fights and walk away. Only person I start I start stuff with is that CLB at work, that creepy little bastard. I start stuff with him on purpose. But other than that, I, I don't be starting nothing. That's because he his damn presence bothered me. I still be trying to figure out who let you e- ejaculate them with no condom on. Like who let you get them pregnant? God damn. And you didn't need to share all that. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting as fuck. Because I know who I you mean, that's about. your buddy, though. <laughs> and y'all act like y'all ain't wonder. Like some of these dudes that be out here and you see them, you like, damn, you dusty, dirty, ugly. You ain't just ain't got nothing. How you got 25 kids? Like, who is letting you nut in them? Whole lot of women. Mm hmm. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't act like you ain't never thought that when you saw somebody. Mm-mm. I never have. I, I did. I, I, I see. I see it a lot. It's a, it, it's a few of them there. Uh, I'll be looking at them like, who let you fuck them? It's against my TP uh, uh, um, heritage. Yo, what? My TP heritage. My toilet paper heritage. You got time for that shit. This is what I've been talking about. Did you take your medication? No. You didn't take yours. Thank what you. What do you mean? Oh, shout out uh, Maddie Sykes and uh, Devante. Oh, hope I said his name right. It's their birthdays today, so happy birthday to them. And Michael Jackson and Lil Ray Ray and Boosie and, and, and Chilla Killer and, and Sling Slang and Yang Yang over on the east side. No. No. That, that makes absolutely no sense what you just said. You don't know my boys, man. Don't don't hate. I'm just getting my boys in the chat. Lean on me. When you're not strong, and I'll push you down. Okay. Right? Okay. So, I don't have much planned for today's show. I didn't. It was. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, 
a day. I had told uh, Tina before we had uh, started the live. Uh, it was today was the anniversary of the day my dad passed away. So anything I was supposed to do today, I didn't do it. Yeah. So my bad, y'all. I didn't know that this episode was gonna fall on this day. So you know, my bad. You know, shit happens. Not to us, it don't. Not to us, it don't, Mojo. This is why I keep talking. Don't take your damn medication. Okay. But it's viewer's choice. That's why I titled this uh, viewer's choice. So, uh, viewers, which is Tommy, what, what topics y'all got for us? What questions do y'all want us to answer? If you want Tina... Ask her a sex question, send it to her. You no, want Tina to ask, uh, you finna get somebody cussed out. If you want Tina to ask, answer a sex question, send it to him. Right <laughs> over her. Right over her. Send it to me. I don't answer it. I'm I'm cooler than the Don Cornelius. What? And so baby. Uh Tommy, see, you already know what I was about to do. Oh, Tommy, 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 Tommy. What, 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 what you got for us, Tommy? Um, while we wait for Tommy, uh, there was another shooting on the highway the other day. Uh, they wait said somebody was arrested. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was this at yesterday? I have no idea. I just uh saw it right before I came on the air. Was it yesterday? Yeah, they had closed. They had closed down the highway yesterday. Yeah, I, I got fucking stuck in there trying to leave Walkershaw. I don't, I don't think think nobody was killed, but they had from before State Fair coming from Walkershaw, before State Fair, past State Fair, on down. I think I got back on on 60th Street. Oh, my Holly Road. Yeah, somewhere. Women, no, not even right there. Might have been Samia. That, yeah, that okay. is uh, 70th Street right there. Yeah, yeah, it was 70th. 70th is right before that, yeah. 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 I got on right there, and it's, it was, I mean, man, shit. That's because Tommy Generation get got be out here and, and be acting a plum fool, don't be knowing what to do with themselves, be, be banging all these girls and they get mad when the girl don't want nothing to do with them and then the girl put them on child support and then all this other kind of stuff. Then you kill a bitch. Oh, never mind. See, you, you can't be uh, uh, and talk. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm pulling up. Oh. For some reason, for some reason, Tommy, I keep thinking you like 40, 45. My bad, Tommy. My bad. I keep thinking you almost up there with old man theater. Hey. You know, old man theater about old as dirt. Hey. Him and his BM. Yeah. Three minutes before, two minutes after. What? Exactly. I'm confused. I am so confused here. I got down here, dude, and got sick. I feel Ooh. like. Where, where are you at? In Manitoba? And whoop ass Mississippi. Oh, Lord, no. I wouldn't survive down in the Mississippi. I, can, I can't survive in the country. They bugs and roaches and stuff is too big. I can't survive down there. Like when I was in Houston, I could understand. Not Houston. Every day I was in Memphis. I could not understand why it was hotter. Then the devil's ass the whole entire time we was there. Like that southern heat is a different kind of heat. I'm not used to that kind of heat. That heat is dangerous. Like, how do them people live down there and that stuff? On oh, favor. As long as Theo got them cards on deck, he he young to them, these girls. <laughs> got who? As long as you got them cards on deck. <laughs> you young to these girls out here? No, it's just the magazine ain't slacking. I, I just opened back up the players club down the street you, around the corner. You, you know, you probably got sick from down there eating that old man gator. Uh, no. 
Oh man. You need, you need rolls to rub your belly in the top of your head? Yeah, I can uh but you need Tina to rub your head then? Mm-hmm. Lord oh, have mercy. My bad. My bad. Lord have mercy. I told you, you need you need Jesus. Tina needs Jesus. I'm surprised she ain't got no homework to do. So what we think about this R&B tournament coming up? Mm-hmm. So, if you guys don't know, because I put it off again, because I still ain't do the brackets. I need to do the brackets. So we're going to try to figure out who is the uh, greatest male R&B singer of the new age of singers. Um, so we need to try to figure that out. Who that is. Old Man Theater don't know half the people on the list. You know, he don't know nobody who made music after 1990. So he know he know everybody from 89 and down. No, so. 69 and down. Get it right. Well, I'm pretty sure he only gonna know about he only he only know the temptations. Uh yeah. BB and CC and JoJo oh, and God. Uh, I guess Tina got a request Rodney. for the uh for a future episode that just came in. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I ain't got no book. <laughs> so Tommy, are you saying that Tina needs to write a book on sexology? Tina not writing a book on sexology. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get you give some good advice. I didn't give any advice. On positions you did. We did that the episode on positions. What do y'all be <laughs> doing? Like what? Like what? Like <laughs> what position? Yeah. You know, different uh, sex positions. Oh, Tina. I did no, not. You, no, you didn't, boo. I don't believe that. I don't even believe that. For her not to have a book lets you, lets you know she's a legend. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do a job today. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. Why is the job? Okay. Okay. Everybody <laughs> minus you. You probably never do nothing. All I said, we was going, we was opening it up to the public. Whoever came and joined in, they could ask questions or put topics out there for us to. No, you said specifically sex questions. Oh, no, I said that. I said if they wanted to ask you that or theater to that. I mean, I don't know what advice theater can give somebody because. Lord have mercy. Break them off. Break them off. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Break them off. Oh. I'm, Theodore only got two moves that he can share with y'all. So. Stop. No, I don't. Uh, other than that, I mean, I don't know what kind of advice Theodore can give I, you. I got, more, I got more than two steps. And after I get done, you somebody can call them more because you're out of here. See, it'd be the crazy old people. This is what I'll be talking about with the crazy old people and stuff. Uh, can somebody tell me what's going on with Kyrie? And because apparently he's losing endorsement now. Is he really gonna retire? Like, what's going on? Do anybody know what's going on with Kyrie Irving? Because I'm lost. Mm-hmm. Old man theater sitting up here asleep. Yeah, I should be. I haven't been asleep. <laughs> 5 a.m. yesterday morning. So, uh, from what I heard, he's apparently losing his uh, deal with, I don't know if it's Nike or Reebok that he got to deal with. Um, I think it's Nike. So, do... Um, so, this is all over sharing that video about the Jews. And me and Theta was talking about how People kept on saying that when he posted that video, it's his First Amendment right. You know, it's freedom of speech. You can say what you want to say. All I, all he did was share the video. And then I keep telling people, uh, although it's the Constitution for here in America to have freedom of speech, uh, that doesn't exist for celebrities at all. 
celebrities do not have the right of freedom of speech. They can't say and do whatever they want to do. You know, a nobody can say and do whatever they want to do, but a celebrity, they can't say and do whatever they want to do because, you know, they lose out on money opportunities and deals and all that kind of stuff, like what's going on with Kyrie Irving. So, well, the thing with that is, man, you can't take nothing from somebody that don't, don't got none, so they fuck with the and I'm going to say it like this. They can kick me the fuck off. I don't care. But um, they mess with the people that they think that they can, whether they, they know that they can bring down and make them look bad. And preferably most of the time it's us. So they're just using him and ye as, 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 as guinea pigs for now, letting us know. I mean, just like we was talking, you never really own your house. You never really own your car because you got to pay for a tight, uh, uh, place every year. You got to pay taxes on your damn house every year. So, what do you really own? Hey. True. You know, uh, they can't take not from a broke motherfucker, but they can take stuff from somebody that they didn't build. They, they basically built them people, and they showing them that they can take them down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tommy Kyrie has uh, shared a video uh, about uh, this guy put out a video and it's supposed to be like a documentary or whatever you want to call it about how the Holocaust never happened and a lot of Jews got angry behind it. Uh, Adam Silver, Silver, the commissioner for uh, the NBA, he's a Jew. So he was demanding an apology from Kyrie and then he got mad at Kyrie because he said the, the apology that Kyrie gave didn't seem sincere and all this other kind of stuff. So now because he shared his video about how the Holocaust basically was supposedly never was to happen, never had happened. He's starting to lose all these endorsement deals. And uh, I think somebody said he was talking about possibly retiring from the NBA and all this other kind of stuff behind what happened with this video. So like I've been saying, you know, people with money don't have, like Theta said, people who got stuff to lose don't really have freedom of speech. If you got something to lose, you your day it's best to just keep your mouth shut um, when it comes to certain stuff. Until until these politicians need their votes, and then when these politicians need their vote, they tell them them go yeah go out there and 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 talk about me and 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 you know get get the black people to vote for me and, and all that other kind of stuff. So they will call on celebrities for that stuff. She tell me to vote for somebody. I would never take her advice. I would not vote for her if she tell me to vote for. Like if I was, she was to be like, if I didn't know who to vote for, it was like we're gonna have Kim Kardashian come in and yeah. to vote for me. Just shoot me. Hey, did y'all know Kim Kardashian had a singing career, a failed singing career? I didn't know that. Did y'all know that at theater? This yeah. old man. Oh. Oh. Well. Yeah. Oh, oh, before you say any damn thing, I wasn't slick. What do you mean? Oh, man, I feel awful. Well, I, what, what's I, going I told, on? What? what is y'all I, doing? What's going on? I uh-huh. told Old Man Theater to stop hoeing, first of all. Oh, he doesn't feel good. He don't went down there and ate some gator, and now he's sick. Uh, we have a comment here. Exactly. He shared the video. He didn't say anything. He posted a picture of what he was watching. And they just ran with it. I agree. I yeah, think, that's pretty much I what think, happened. I think shit like that should be boycotted. But how many how many of, of the idiots that's into sports going to boycott shit that they want to watch? Hardly any. That's why I'm glad I'm not a sports fan because I can't, I can't feel feel the pain. You know, I feel, I feel really like good. in any situation, whether whether it's, it's sports related or not, where it comes time where uh, minorities need to come and band together to to get a, uh, a a different outcome of something, they don't do it. Like they don't know how to band together. And figure some shit out. That's why we're still treated the way how we're treated. Mm. Like I just look at some of these other ones. Like 
like look at is 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 wait he was talking about the Jews right was that is that no nah, what's some people that live over there in the Sherman area uh, those are Jews yeah you see look how they band together and and form this whole society they run they like some I don't know who I was talking to but the Jews run this freaking world that's <laughs> what they saying so they know that right so. I'm the, they run this world, so and they were able to band together. They able to create their own businesses, and they you know they shop they shop locally within their own businesses. They probably charge you know decent prices within their own businesses, but they people can buy the products because they know they know some people ain't got it or whatever. But they built their own they own wealth within their own little community. Now these other communities. You know, some of these communities, you know, they be like, you know, they, I'm just going to have to say it, but black folks, when y'all open up y'all own store, I get it, y'all black owned and all this other kind of stuff, and y'all want people to shop with y'all. First of all, y'all, when people come into y'all establishment, y'all can't have attitudes, because I don't walk into a few black owned establishments, and y'all be having some shitty attitudes. And second, the damn prices. I get it. Y'all ain't got no middleman, no distributor. I don't know where Apu and all them get their stuff from, but for some reason it's cheaper, and y'all need to learn how to compete with Apu prices. Okay. We gonna get we gonna give you a cultural competency class, <laughs> sir. Cause you you gonna get us boy out of here. <laughs> uh, well, the Indians, whatever. I don't know what they are. What are they Indians or? There are many different things. Know what I mean with them people. <laughs> when you go to their stores, they just happen to have cheaper prices. And in times of high inflation, we need you to be able to compensate with cheaper prices. Because everything is high as hell. <laughs> hell I don't even like going to Walmart no more. They used to be cheap as hell. Now everything in there is high as hell. You go buy four items at Walmart, you don't spend $2,000. Everything is high as hell. That's what happened with inflation. And I blame um COVID. Theo, is you sweet? No, I'm laying here. <laughs> I'm I'm actually laying here trying to hope that my stomach stop hurting. Oh man. I mean I mean, okay, well before I get us banned, I guess we should head into final thoughts before I get us banned off of YouTube and Facebook and other kind of before, like Tina said, before we get boycotted and uh stuff like that. So, um, yes, you're an old black man outside your, your damn house, just walking up and down, back and forth on the grass, kicking lights out, and you know, snatching lights down, ho ho ho, punching Santa Claus to the, 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 <laughs> the, the snowman and shit, kicking them in the boo 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 boo, -boo. but. You don't want this drama. You don't want this smoke, so stop it. That's my final thought. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, yes. That's all the way that you can hear Fresh Christmas decorations. Yeah, I know how to get to <laughs> Because Christmas decorations is just too damn hot. Oh. Lord have mercy. Did uh, you have a Oh my God, what audio is doing there? So you ain't got no, 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 no uh, video? I do not have any video. Oh, well, thank God that we don't have no to deal with that corny shit tonight. I mean, oh. How you gonna do no videos? How many videos have I sent to you? Huh? Huh? You talking to me? Huh? No. Tommy's final thought was I would help Tina with that book. What? That was. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, it was Theodore's phone, because when I muted his microphone, it stopped echoing. So, Tommy's final thought was, I would help Tina with, with this book. Okay, Tina's final thought. Tina ain't writing no book. <laughs> Tina ain't giving no lessons. Tina ain't holding no classes. 
<laughs> Tina may talk about it here and there on the podcast, whatever that may be. I don't want y'all thinking that Tina got something going on over here. Yeah. Oh, and teenagers are crazy as hell. Now y'all know. Oh, almost actually, almost accidentally playing the old video. We all know Tia. We know they crazy as hell. Uh, damn it, Tommy. I know that. Let's get paid, Tina. Damn. <laughs> no, he's trying to pimp me out. <laughs> oh, God. I'm done. Um, my final thought is we need to believe more in, in the Christmas spirit. Everybody keeps saying it's not Christmas yet. When I say and I say Merry Christmas, Christmas is a season, damn it. It starts November 1st to January 1st. Christmas is a damn season. So you say Merry Christmas the whole entire season. Um, gas prices is too damn high still. We need to bring down them gas prices because back up on me and I wasn't paying attention and I bought some gas and I was wondering why it came out to so much damn money. So fix the damn gas prices. It, did, um, it went down about 20 cents. Where? Since the last time I got some gas. I just bought some on Tuesday. That shit was three eighty nine. Yeah, it was three ninety nine when I first got it. Now it's like three seventy nine. I ain't seen no gas for three seventy nine. Devil just lie. I just went past it tonight. Oh, Merry Christmas. Um, I'm I'm upset that uh Mandela Mandela Barnes didn't get uh elected. Uh, they keep uh, electing Ron Johnson, decrepit, old, almost dead ass into uh, the, that damn thing. Oh, I I'm going to say that for the next episode. So, with that being said, thank y'all all for tuning in to this mixture yep. regularly episode what? of Sank <laughs> Different Day Podcast. Uh, make sure y'all head over to Habits 365.com. You, I'm not saying you know what I meant. <laughs> this this unplanned episode. There, there we go. It was very well planned. Oh, make sure you head over to habits365.com. Use code activity four to receive twenty percent off your purchase. And then head over to redstores.com. Use code March to one to receive five percent off your purchase. And then don't forget to head over to cafepress.com. Next cafe. Press.com slash same kind of different day podcast for your podcast official merch. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm impressed. Oh no, thank you. I mean, I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> we will see you all on the next episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast. We'll see y'all all on Tuesday. Peace. And old man theater old. <laughs>